Hello everybody, my name is Ziptie24. I usually stream on Twitch TV and today we're going to do a YouTube video on how to set up an electrolyzer to make fuel for all of the devices that you need in your base, such as your gas generator, your arc, uh, your welder that's located right here, and other useful things. Now, you can even use this to uh, do your your, your uh, spaceship once you build it as well. Now, what I got set up right here is my filtration unit is filtering out f uh, water when I'm melting down ice and the uh, furnace way down there. We'll get to that later. And uh, we got it piped up to our electrolyzer. Now, this is the input and this is the output. Uh, we have a data and power as well on the electrolyzer and what it does is it takes water and turns it into a 33% oxygen 67% volatile mixture automatically we don't have to do any type of logic chips for that to happen okay now we're going to need one logic writer one logic reader a compare unit and a memory that way we can tell this unit what to do. All right, so what we're going to do is we have a pipe analyzer set up on the outflow of the electrolyzer, and we're going to set a logic reader to read that pipe analyzer for pressure. <clears throat> then we're going to come over to our compare unit. Now, these chips, I just threw these down. You can tidy this up, use less... Uh, cabling and stuff like that than I did because I used a lot of cables. Uh, in this compare unit, we're going to take that logic reader, which is analyzing or reading the pipe analyzer, we're going to go less than and we're going to read the logic memory. Now the logic memory, I have I turned it down so we can have some, uh, that way I can show you when this thing comes on and stuff like that. I only have it set to 9900. Now you can have this set to like 15 to 20 if possible that way you can have 15 uh, MPA inside your pipes now what we're going to do with this information that we've gathered here now that we've compared it we're going to go into our logic writer and the inputs going to be logic compare and the outputs going to be the electrolyzer now what are we going to tell it to do we're going to tell it to turn on so when we're reading the analyzer, we're reading the pressure in the pipe. We're going to compare that pressure with our memory. And if it's less than what we have on our memory, we're going to tell our electrolyzer to turn on. Pretty simple. Now let's turn this up just a little bit. Let's turn it up to 10.3. All right. It turns on. And now it's going to take that and pressurize this pipe to 10.3. There's 10.2, 10.3, a little over. We got 10.33, and it automatically turns off. Now, this is going to feed into our collection tanks way down here. Now, we're going to follow this pipe, and now here is our fuel tanks for our base fuel and the oxygen is 33 percent pressure is 10.33 and volatiles is 67 percent now we can use this to go into our base or come down here which this is the work in progress this will be on the next video and to our let's go down and take a look at it i'll give you all a little bit of a look here so we got a gas generator down here, a gas fuel generator in which we're going to have the intake come in with our gas mixture or we're going to have to put a some other stuff in here to make this work. I'll get into that in a later video on how to get all this set up. So that's it. That's how you set up a simple electrolyzer to use up all that excess water that you're using not for your greenhouse after all the ice that you're melted trying to get the right kind of ratio for your base 
nitrogen and oxygen. So uh, we'll recap. So we're taking water, putting it into the electrolyzer. That electrolyzer is turning into fuel for everything else, such as our welder, our arc furnace, our gas fuel generator, and for our spacecraft in the future. We're going to need one logic writer, one logic reader, compare unit, and a memory. Now these, uh, this setup is pretty simple. I bet you there's a even better way to do this off of uh, And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you all coming out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I look forward to reading the comments. Y'all have a great day.